Lord, please grant us the grace of understanding and a compassionate and cooperative spirit to keep the peace in all circumstances. Amen. Mother Claire began, I don't understand this mood. It hurts. It's always the same thing, Jesus responded. The enemy is looking for a bone of contention. When this happens, it is always better to withdraw rather than to contend. Leave it alone. It will pass. Please give me the grace to slide right out from under this trap. Be very gentle. That always works. My grace works from within. My people, when you find that those you live with are combative, back down and do not press into your rights to be heard. Rather, increase in gentleness until the conflict is past. Many times people are not aware of how they sound. It's not deliberate and has nothing to do with you. This is where many go astray and tensions mount. Diffuse, always diffuse issues and lean towards brotherly love. The things people conflict with are not worth the time and effort to correct. But brotherly love is. Keeping this bond alive and effective is truly the highest priority. It is so easy to get into conflict over anything when the guard of charity is abandoned. Part of the lesson in community life is continually restoring and backing up the flow of harmony and peace coming from meek and humble souls. Look to the needs of others and do not permit yourself to be sidetracked into empty conflicts that are mostly about ego and the need to be right. These traps have been laid out all over the community and communications with others. It is a spirit of contention. Bind it and ask for Holy Spirit to repair any cracks that began because of it. The Satanists use your own weaknesses and desires to be right, to provoke conflict. I say to you, have no part in these dynamics, and you should be kept whole and alive retaining the anointing and bond of brotherly love. Walk on the road above contentions, and you will stay free from sin. I know how hard this is for you. I know that inner insecurity that plagues you, which you don't have an answer for. Rest in me, my Claire. Do not go over and over again things that brought with them an air of contention. Let them go and go on with me. There is an art to living together, and it takes time to cultivate a peaceful and serene spirit in all circumstances. You also have a very real enemy who has been assigned to divide and break the bond of brotherly love. Do not follow his suggestions. Rather, strive to keep the peace. If you cannot keep the peace in peacetime, how are you ever going to be able to keep it in wartime? This is a rhetorical question, meant to get you back into balance. Value peace and brotherly love above being right. Striving to be right over minor issues is nothing more than a show of ego. Strive to be peaceful. Let others do what they may, but you, my beloved, do not take part in contentious disputes. It is unbecoming a bride of Christ to stoop to those things. I allow these things to come to the surface so that you all can see where you are at or where you are not at. All of you need more maturity so that you do not stoop to defending your position or your particular version of a truth. As long as you are attached to being right, Satan will sift you and cause numerous disturbances. Right when you think you are doing well and you relax, then he will come in from left field and set you all at odds with one another. 
You must be smarter than that. Please wake up. Be adults and handle Satan who is trying to make an opponent of your friends. This is an order to be followed, and there is a time and place to tenderly unravel disputes in private, not touching others and drawing them into contentions. When it comes to discipline, if someone is truly out of line and doing damage, compromising doctrine, ignoring those they pledged obedience to, discipline or directives protecting the flock from error must be put in place. If it is just a matter of a private affair and quarrel over who is right and who is wrong, you must do your best to mediate for the truth. Here I would like to mention a circumstance that was very difficult for us. One of our priests who had been made a bishop became defiant and was teaching bold-faced error and would not come to the table to correct this doctrine. This case went on for weeks and we had to disassociate ourselves from them, formally censoring them and asking them to find another group to work with because their doctrine was divergent from what we have been taught. Family, we are a loving group of people in the heart of God that deal with every situation in love for as far as we can go with the soul without moral lapse. We do not threaten others. They are here because they love the Lord, and if they are slow or having relationship issues, we don't add insult to injury. We help them sort out and resolve if possible. God bless you, dear ones. We love you and are praying for you.